In order for us to understand how the market works, one of the important concepts into understanding absorption rate. Absorption rate is for uh, an easier way to explain it. Imagine that you have a grocery carriage and you're in the grocery store, your carriage is full of groceries and you're ready to basically check out. You're looking at the registers and trying to gauge which register will move you through fastest. You put your carriage in the one you think will get you out sooner and inadvertently you end up being in the wrong one and you have to move over to the right register. Now imagine that instead of food, your grocery carriage has your house and you're trying to sell your home and you're gauging the registers to see which one will get you through the home, uh, through the process fastest. The uh, checkout girl is actually your buyer. And what is she doing? She's buying the homes at a certain rate that are already in front of you. They're already on the market. And you're gauging where you need to position your property, and that is your price bracket, to get through the market as fast as possible. The way that it works is if your line is um, long and the checkout girl is slow and she is checking out people out really, really slow and the benchmark is six months, if it's going to take six months for you to check out through the house or longer, then it is a buyer's market and the buyers have more say in negotiations. If it is less than six months, then it is a seller's market. There's less homes, the line is shorter, you're going to get your price or close to it or more, and you're going to get through that line faster. That is the concept of absorption rate. So when you're looking at an absorption rate for your property, you need to know a few facts. The first thing you want to know is how many available homes are going to be there for the buyers looking at your particular price point. For example, if you're selling a home in Holden, you might consider having to look at Holden and maybe five miles out because most people are not looking at just one town. You would then say, hey, my house is worth about 225. Then you probably would want to look at what buyers do between 200 and 250. At that point, you want to see how many houses are available. It could be single family, multifamily, and condominiums because a lot of buyers will search different style of homes between 200 and 250 within the five mile radius of Holden. And you get that number. Then you want to see how many properties sell. So what you want to do is look at the most uh, closest market to you, which is 90 days or three months. You find out how many properties in the five mile radius between two and 250 sold in the last 90 days. You take that number divided by three and you will know the rate at which that checkout girl is checking out the homes. So let's say you had three properties sold in the last 90 days to make the math easier. That means that the checkout girl is checking out one property a month. So that way, you know that if there are, um, say, nine properties ahead of you, it's going to take nine months to sell those properties. And that will make it a buyer's market. I hope you enjoyed this uh, information and found it helpful.